Hello and welcome to an update of the Hungry Bin. I know it's been a little while since I uh, I did a video. So, I know a couple of viewers were mentioning that uh, maybe I should remove the plastic from the top. Now, I was um, going to address that. This plastic, you can see that it it's kind of thick. So it sits above everything. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't restrict the air at all. You have things from the side. You can see that it's actually dry from the side. So it lets a lot of air in and it has a lot of large holes everywhere, just throughout the whole top. So this is actually much better then if I kept the lid closed, which most people do on the hungry bin, because these holes are like non-existent. They're teeny, teeny, tiny, and there's just very few of them. So this gives you a lot better aeration. And so it keeps the top from drying out. Now, it doesn't really matter what happens to the top because the way that this hungry bin is made, it is so um, so deep that the material at the bottom, <laughs> it will still come out wet uh, because it's plastic and it just uh, doesn't breathe. So it doesn't matter what I do on top, the bottom will be exactly the same. I've tried that, I did that before. I just had some a dry <clears throat> newspaper and cardboard on top and it had no cover on it whatsoever. And the, uh, the material at the bottom was still wet. So been there, done that. So my, my thing here is to keep this material on top from drying out and uh, therefore pushing the worms further down into the bin. I don't wanna do that. I wanna keep them on top. And they love it. Here they are, right guys? working everything over. Everything is nice <clears throat> and moist. And you can see what a great consistency it is. Um, it's flaky, actually. Very nice and flaky. Not at all wet. So the issue here is definitely not the top. It is not the top, it is not the plastic. The issue is the castings that come out the bottom. So as I do here, every time I feed, I just fluff up just the very, very top of the, uh, of the bin and you can see how, how nice and flaky all this top material is. And I'm gonna give these guys more bedding and a little bit more kitchen waste. But these guys are doing great. and the material feels pleasant to the touch. It's not cold, it's not too hot. It's perfect. And you can also see how high up this uh, bin is. I'm thinking that it's, it's fairly full and I can easily do a harvest. Uh, at the, this will be what, one month? At the end will be one month instead of two months. Let me try and do a harvest at the one month point, which is going to be next week, and see how that goes. So let's feed these guys up. So you can see I laid down plenty of bedding, which is shredded cardboard and paper. I sprinkled some uh, eggshell as well as neem cake, and then 
we have our kitchen waste, lots of banana skins. We got uh, paper towels. So, but these guys always get plenty of bedding because that is important. And hopefully one way to control the moisture. If I only added kitchen waste, very, very little bedding, oh boy, I can't even imagine what would be the consistency of this stuff. But there's a nice balance here and you can see it's over, overflowing actually. So definitely we can do a, a little harvest next week and see if we can move on to doing monthly harvest instead of uh, every two months. So that's our update. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.